Hello everybody, today I'm here with some more Disney Sources Arena and we've got two new characters to showcase and they're pretty brand new. Uh, we've got, well actually by the time I upload this it probably won't be that new anymore. But we've got Quasimodo here from the Hunchback of Notre Dame and also from the same franchise we've got Esmeralda. And she's got her goat with her too, which will be fun to see. I have not seen the movie, so any references to it I will not understand. Um, but I'm still curious to see how each of them work. Um, additionally, we've got a costume to showcase, as usual. And this time I'm deciding we're going to do Santa Jack. Let's unequip it just for a second so you can see what it looks like when he's wearing it. Alright. And I, I don't know why I decided to do them. I just thought it'd be cool to see Santa Jack. So we're going to be going into the uh, Heroes campaign. I also just unlocked Hercules, who almost messed up my ability to showcase them together. But I got Esmeralda first. Um, let's maybe go into an easier one first, just to see what happens. Um, this one... I uh, would like to get three stars, I suppose. We've got two times character tokens right now, so now would be the time to start doing some of these. Alright, so we're going to keep Hero in. Um, probably no one else, though. And Quasimodo, I got to level four, or I guess tier four. And Esmeralda should just be at three. And then Santa Jack is somewhere right there. And then let's bring in. We'll, we'll bring in Gogo -Go as well. Uh, everything looks good. I really have no idea what Quasimodo and Esmeralda do, and I haven't used Jack in a long time, so lots of new stuff here. We need to take it off of Auto. And Quasimodo's coming up first. We've got No Soldiers, deal up to 420, and deal 50% of this character's shield as a bonus damage up to a max of 420 and 3% chance to inflict continuous damage. Um, Sanctuary, the up to 604 damage to target and flanking opponents gain the following Protect, Shield equal to 3% of this character's match health, max health, and grant the teammate with the lowest health, preferring non summoning teammates the following um, Shield equal to 3% of Quasimodo's max health, and undefeatable. If Esmeralda's teammate grant her the following stealth and evasion. Cauldron of Flame, deal up to 385 damage to all opponents, inflict crit power down for two turns, and flip one helpful effect into continuous damage, dealing 219 damage over one turn. Those, un those all sound really great. I want to do this one first, because we don't have any helpful things. Oh, wow, I should have used that on the flanking one. I'm stupid, but um, that was cool. Uh, we don't see great animations all that often. Well, I mean we do, but it's fun to see animations like that. So Esmeralda's up next. You can see she's got her stealth and stuff from Quasimodo. Hitting below the, the belt, deal up to 243 damage to target opponent. Call Jolly to assist. I did not know the ghost name, so it appears to be Jolly. And if Jolly is not a teammate, uh, summon Jolly at a random location first, then perform this ability. He has 1519 health, and it just shows Jolly's attacks there. Um, the. Dance of Defiance, character and adjacent teammates gain the following effects. Cleanse two harmful effects and if teammate is kingdom and does not have a harmful effect, they gain the following haste. And if Jolly's teammate, fifty percent chance to her to purge one helpful effect from the uh, opponent. Feast of Fools, reduce target opponent's speed by 25%. Target opponent performs, performs their basic on a random opponent. And the two additional opponents perform their basic on a random opponent. Um, so that kind of reminds me of Mickey's in a way. If Claude Frodo, Frollo is an opponent, uh, he gains the following charm for one turn. That's cool. So she's um, specifically good against Frollo. Um, let's, just, let's just get Jolly in here. Alright, so now he's just on the team. And he's got his own basic move here, and then also the chance to assist Kingdom Hero. So that's cool. Um, he kind of acts as a uh, Raja character. Except uh, I, I prefer Raja. Raja is pretty great. Um, I want. Hmm. Well, Santa Jack's about to go. 
I guess we'll just do this so we can see what Santa Jack's all about. Uh, fearsome Throw, deal up to 276 damage to target opponent. Um, scary Face, deal 3 to 94 to damage to opponent and adjacent opponents and inflicts fear for two turns. And can also heal block and then the Hail the Pumpkin King, grant target opponent pumpkin shield for two turns. So I guess this one is the one I'm going to want to do. doesn't do all that much. Uh, I do not care for Jack all that much. Um, but he's alright. So let's use this one as well. Wow. I think Quasimodo's got some great animations. Uh, I am curious. We always get these ones where it's like change a helpful effect into a harmful effect on the opponents and then the opponents just never have any uh, helpful effects so I can't really do anything. We did 3 star that one and we also got some chips towards uh, the uh, Big Bad Wolf so that's great. We're gonna go into a little bit of a tougher one and see if we can handle it. Um, who do I want chips for? Yeah, I suppose we could do this one. I, I hope we get three stars and also get chips for Mr. Incredible. That'd be great. Um, I so far I really like Quasimodo's moves yet, and I think Esmeralda, Esmeralda will be really helpful for the tower, and specifically because she's good against. Well, I guess I don't know if you go up against Frollo, but... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to want to do this one. It'll hit all adjacent opponents. Okay, it didn't kill them, but... We might as well do this one here. Alright. Um, I kind of want to see this one. So... He was kind of forced to attack his friend there. Hmm... So not like Mickey's move, like I said. I, I was confused. Let's give Santa Jack his, his own pumpkin shield. Oh, okay. So we're not going to three-star this one. We're going to need some help, so let's bring in Go-Go next. So we've got Esmeralda here. Just do a basic attack here. Alright, I forgot what that move was. I apologize. <laughs> she did a little dance instead. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, those bugs can be very dangerous. I guess so can the big bad wolf, to be completely fair. I should I wish I could have got Jolly. I should have used her basic before. Got Jolly in here earlier. Um, so yeah, Jolly is pretty fast. He gets to move again. He does not do very much damage because I don't have a level up all that much. Man, it's very unfortunate that um, I had to... What is it? I had to taunt with Quasimodo because you know, of course he's gonna die, but... We handled it pretty well. We could... No, we're not gonna... There's no way. We could try this one. And I guess we'll see what time we're at when we're done with, with this one, but we'll probably end at this one. I do like Quasimodo the best out of all of them. Um, and it's very basic of me to say, but I just like characters that have good attacks, and he seemingly does. And I really like his animations too. I think they're cool. Um, Esmeralda is pretty cool too. I don't think her moves are all that useful for what I'm trying to do. I want to read this one again. Um, target opponent performs a basic attack on a random opponent. Up to two additional opponents perform a basic attack on a random opponent. So I should try to save that when there are more opponents on screen. Um, this one... Cleanse harmful effects. So that's, I might as well bring Jolly out, right? Uh, he doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Someone could definitely die from this bug. Okay, good. Mm, definitely want to save that. And we get to use it with Quasimodo here. I can't wait to unlock Frollo even though I don't know when I'm going to get to showcase him because I don't have any villains right now. That one also does damage all opponents which is cool. I want to get this one. And use it for real. See that was pretty great. I actually really like that move. Um, that definitely makes me like her a lot more. With some really strong opponents, especially in like PvP or something, 
If you're just like completely outmatched, that could really turn things around, I think. Uh, that's a cool move. I don't know just how useful it can be, but I feel like there's potential. We might... And we're, and it's looking good. We should be able to three-star this one. If everything goes... Oh yeah, we should be fine. We're, we're about to kill in a moment here. Uh, Pumpkin Jack... Or I guess Santa Jack, sorry. I mean, Jack uh, uh, I never liked, and I continue to feel the same way. I don't know. He's just... His moves aren't that great. He doesn't have very much attacks. I don't need his pumpkin shield. Um, I mean, obviously I could level him up a lot more and he'd be better, but... I like the costume a lot. He looks cool in the Santa costume. Alright, well we've three-starred a couple of them. Unfortunately we lost the Mr. Incredible one, but that's okay. Um, I might as well grind a bit. I would love to get some more... Oh, I didn't... Dang it. I'd love to get more Esmeralda today. I don't know if I'll be able to, but let's go to the Grand Campaign. Did we get any more Esmeralda? No! Are you serious? That sucks. Alright. I might as well open these. Um... Oh, I got a Winnie the Pooh pack. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got a new one. I got Gopher. That's cool. I have most of them. I've been getting a lot of duplicates, though. Alright, well, there we go. Um, I enjoyed that. And quick take a look at my talisman. There's Gopher. You can see as I'm swapping, or going through all these, you can see some of the Winnie the Pooh ones I got. Uh, like the springtime one. I think I already had Eeyore and Tigger. I got uh, Kanga. And rabbit. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.